Hi, this is Paul Carlson CPA. This video is going to demonstrate how to configure the journals page for entering and reviewing transactions. Let's go into journals. First option we want to take a look at is the type box. Now within this box, you can select if you want to see checks, deposits, adjustments, or all transactions. If you open up the journals page, you select your month and your year, and most of your transactions are missing. Usually means you need to select all, and all transactions will appear. The other selection we want to take a look at is behind this little box, you can specify which columns we want to see on the journals page. So if you don't want to see the invoice date on the page, you uncheck it. But we typically want to see the invoice date, so we'll leave that turned on. The fields selected on the journals page will depend on how you're using ProLaw. From the screen, you can see that there's so many columns that you have to scroll to the side to see everything. So often it does speed data entry if you adjust the, if you adjust the columns that you're looking at. Within the visible columns, you can change the order. So if we want the line description column all the way over here by the dollar amount, we can just drag it over and it will come over. And we can also resize fields, just drag and drop and they will resize. So that's how we configure the journals page for doing data entry. Below this video is a link to our other ProLaw Quick Tip videos. If you need ProLaw accounting help, there's also a contact field where you can contact my CPA firm. Thanks, goodbye.